Hello, welcome to a, another pro race in the 49er. My name is Eric Champagne. These 49er races, uh, the pro races lately have been very uh, square lines with minimal wind shifts. Um, that being said, I have seen a few with large wind shifts. Um, currently we have the start line relatively square on the screen, but a bit of a left shift um, making the pin favorite. Looks like it's going to be a bit of a fight for the pin. You need to pay attention. So I start on time. Oh, shoot. I somehow got lucky and got out of there. Not exactly sure how. Uh, consider myself fortunate. The right side of the screen, I think, has more wind. A little left shift out here to the left. The outside socks, the right and the left sock, are showing a little lefty. Usually, if they both show the same, the middle will follow. And you can see it's slowly turning left. That should be enough to keep me in the lead. I can see, uh, now that I have a moment, I can look around. Uh, the guy in third, or fourth, I'm sorry, X382, quite aggressive. Um, he beat me in the last race, so I'll be very happy to beat him here. I think we have more left shift coming, so I'm going to split a little bit and go left enough to get a little more wind shift. There's three bars now. When I went away I was red two, these bars at the top. So I'm coming back on more of a lift than I went into it. There's four bars. You can see that gave me enough to cross um, the guy in second. Now the question will be will it go back a little bit? There's three bars rather than four, so still a net gain. I'll take a look at the wind here. I think the wind may be better straight. I had a little slow set there, which was bad, unfortunately. Or fortunately for me, the guy in second, the green guy who's all over the place, um, had a bad set himself playing around with the guy that was in second, Mike. So the guys in second and third will screw with each other a bit. Sometimes it's fun to watch. But you always have to watch your own boat as well. I'm not. I need to pay attention. <laughs> See, everybody's pretty much following. I'm lifted. Wind speed uh, actually looks like it is going up slightly. So I'm lifted. I'm going to more pressure. Everyone's following me. I'm going to attack. Just to be safe, center up on the course, I probably could have kept going. Thought it was a little bit lighter wind over on the right edge. No loss here.
So just to recap on that race, I got a little lucky at the start. I was a little squirrely in my driving. I somehow got through there without a penalty. Um, and then halfway up the beat, or two thirds that way up the beat, I split from the guy who is even with me leading. I went left a little bit, got a left shift, came back and I was ahead and that was the race right there. So that was a good example of reading a couple of very small wind shifts and help using them to advance you just a few boat lengths. Once you're ahead by a couple of boat lengths, you can turn that into more boat lengths. Oh, and the computer's gonna freeze, so we're gonna have to shut this down. <laughs>